guess what we've got? A basket full of bags. You guys, I've got to show you this one first. Look at this gorgeous vintage beaded brass handles. It's got a brass little chain crossbody strap. It's uh, like a satin, or is that silk? That actually might be silk, you guys. Is this not gorgeous? Look at the toggle on it. So what you do is you just open it like that. It opens up. It's There's no name on it, but holy cow. This little baby is just beautiful. And I'm getting it. The price on it is $10.99. Then you just go like this. And it snaps back and then to open it, you just flip the little heart toggle. It's like a little upside down heart kind of. These are all Look at the AB, crystal, not crystals, but beads on it. So, so pretty. I'm getting that. I'm getting this for my Reed, you guys. Because when he was a baby, or all of my kids were little, I used to sing You Are My Sunshine. And I wish, I need to find two more. One for each of my kids. Isn't that cute? Get that. I'm getting a plant, a, a fake plant. I found a really super nice coat satchel. Gorgeous bag. That's a Dooney and Burke. That is a vintage purse. I'm not sure I'm gonna get this or not, but I just loved it because of the leather and it's from the 70s. Um, it's one of those framed clasp bags. Let me show you. Open it like that. I don't know if I'm gonna get it or not, but it's just so cute. And it's got double straps on it, but you could still actually wear it as a crossbody. It's definitely long enough. And the leather on it is so pretty. Let's see if there's a name on this one. I didn't check. Um, little slip pocket, a zipper pocket. And this one's unbranded as well. So I'm not sure, but I really like it. Um, yeah, a couple Dooney and Burks in there. And we're gonna see what else we can find. Let's walk around and see. I'm in my least favorite section <laughs> right now, the dishes, but we shall see. We'll get out of the way of everybody over here. Something I never, ever, ever find, which a lot of um, thrifters do, is find like really cool perfumes and stuff. I'm in the market for a really nice perfume, but I don't know what I want. Cause um, I'm, actually, I'm actually not a perfume connoisseur. I just find something I like and I get it. Can't even remember the last time I bought myself a real perfume. Let's see, let's go over. There's really not a lot to dig through in the handbag area, you guys. I just, I picked out the very best ones. The rest are just like relic and, um, a lot of no-name kind of plasticky stuff. Nothing exciting to show you. But we'll come over here and look around because we rarely do this. A lot of beachy themed items that are really pretty. So this is kind of like the knickknack area. And what does it say? Ooh, I like that. That goes in my kitchen real good. That's super cute. How much is that? $6.99. So I would definitely hang it on the wall. I think I'm gonna get that. Yeah, that would look great in my kitchen. I gotta find a spot for it, but I will. This is pretty nice. Put a wooden box. Hey, this would work for my drawings that I do. That's pretty too. How much are you? $5.99? Pretty wooden box there. Look at this one. Whoa, this one's heavy duty. $6.99 for this one. Ooh, the music's going loud today. What is this? Lovebyluna.com? Something cool like that was in there at one time. Oh, 
this is one of those little um, things you hang on your wall and you put little pictures on and they've attached little fairy lights to it. So that's kind of cool. Holy cow. I had one of these. My mom and dad had one of these when I was little. Except it had different levels and they would put their walnuts and stuff like that. You used to be able to have to crack on your own with a nutcracker. a purse hanging out over here. Purse star. Somebody said I had purse star. They're right. I can sniff one out within a hundred miles. <laughs> okay, it's too full on this aisle. Well, today's 30% off day, so there's a lot of people in here doing their thing. A little pet area. Look at the avocado kitty bed. That's funny. Huh. $12.99. Put it back. Okay. <laughs> what is this? She just brought me out something. What is this? Let me zoom in and see what the label says. Oh, Cole Haan. Do you guys like this wallet? It's black leather with pink trim. Really cool credit card slots in it. Change compartment. Hmm. Maybe so. We'll see. Oh, is this one of those like gel candles? No? It's hard. It looks like one of those kinds that are gel. Smell it. No smell. Hello. Okay, so here's the wallet again. It's a pebble leather. It's expensive though. It's $20. You can get 20% off of it. If anybody wants it. I don't know, you guys. It's cool. I like the pink trim on it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I get it or should I pass? So back over here at the wallets, I found this. And I'm probably pretty sure it's fake. I don't know anything about Hermes wallets and how to tell if they're authentic or not. But I just wanted to show you guys this, this guy here. And it is real leather, but let's show you the inside. Get a glimpse of it real quick. It is, let's show you. A flap that opens up like this. It's got, yeah, I don't know. I, don't, I think it's probably not because the stitching looks real crummy. And anyways, it's a cute wallet. But, uh, let's look at the inside right here. Got the Hermes material in there, but like I said, I highly, highly doubt it's real. Hmm. Got the little coin compartment here. So, anyways, it's gonna stay here because I highly doubt it's real. But wanted to show you. Found this really cute Michael Kors wallet, but was really bummed. I thought it was real at first, and then opened it up. And bam, it's about as fake as you can get with that interior. So yes, very fake Michael Kors. Um, this is plastic. Michael Kors doesn't make wallets with this kind of lining in it. It's really cheap. But it's cute from the outside. Here's a unique little cute little purse. But it is definitely faux leather. Love the color, love the style. It's a little canteen style with a little fringe at the bottom little card slot but this one I'm not gonna get this is cute I wanted to show you the style of it oh also I want to show you found this really cute coach clutch but I think I'm gonna pass on it as well it's cute and then this is a really cute lot Ralph Lauren but I'm not paying that either so. All right, let's get out to the car and show you what I did find.
Alrighty, so we're at a little bit of a different angle, so I didn't have to put you guys in the direct sun, so my phone would just completely poop out on me. So first thing is the plant that I got myself. She pretty, she fake, and she was $9.99. Like, looks like grass will be growing in my living room. All right, you guys saw. Over here, this is the vintage bag that everybody saw that I showed while in there. So if you guys are interested in any of my items, um, the items I have for sale will be listed below this video in the description box. All items are final sale. Sorry if you hear the loud wind blowing. Um, my air conditioner's on because it's very hot. Um, but any of the items that I do have for sale are gonna be listed below in the description box. All sales are final. Please ask all questions before you purchase because I don't offer any exchanges or returns. I ship only within the US and I accept only PayPal, okay? So you guys saw this pretty much in detail while I was in there. It was $10.99 got the really pretty little grass crossbody and it's actually a long crossbody strap I was really impressed and look at the handles on it this is just so pretty and you guys for me I use this as an everyday bag as a matter of fact I just might do that so super pretty I'm loving it unbranded but it should have been branded because it's just so darn cute little handbag crossbody and just love it okay um, I got this Michael Kors and it's a beautiful like a navy pebbled leather satchel style kind of hard to show you with the string a little bit let me move back a little and that might help some so I'm not so up in up in your face, right? There you go. So really pretty satchel. The leather on it is beautiful, gold tone hardware, and it looks to be in new new condition. There's the feet on the bottom. A nice big zipper pocket on the back. Look at this. Whoever donated it. <laughs> That's funny. There's something else in here too. Lens cleaning towelette, a 20% off coupon that I'll be glad to use on my next shopping trip. <laughs> That's funny. I wonder if, uh, I actually wonder if the person donated it, left it in there, or if it was slipped in there by somebody shopping. I don't know. Look at the inside. Super clean. This is comparable to the Speedy 30, I would say, in size. One, two, three, four slip pockets and a zipper pocket on the inside. Handles are in perfect condition. Beautiful, beautiful condition. Michael Kors. Um, oh, I picked up this little kitchen plate. I'm gonna hang this in my kitchen. And what was that? $6.99. Hang it on the wall. Estonia Merck. I've sold a couple of these in the past and people really, really love, you guys seem to really love this style Dooney and the leather on it. My glasses keep slipping, it's driving me nuts. Um, this one has colors of hardware. Silver, silver tone hardware. Really pretty, like a real lush, thick leather, hobo style. It's got the Dooney and Burke embossed right here. Lobster clasp, nice shoulder bag in a medium size. And the color's coming true. It's a very gray blue color, very neutral, goes with everything. And then the inside looks like this. So 
we've got the Dooney, I'm gonna call it a Speedy, even though it's not a Speedy, and then the Hobo. All leather, beautiful. Okay, and then this was so nice. These are my favorite purple colors, both in this one bag. So nice. Look at this, it's gorgeous. Silver tone hardware, it's got the purple leather trim, jacquard fabric with the coach plaque. Lift it up, and you've got two large compartments. And then this major compartment here with a zipper. Super clean on the inside. Pin slots, phone slots, all sorts of compartments. Here's the cream. this bag and I can't believe it. This is one of my most favorite, favorite finds. This is the Lucky Brand Velour and this is all embroidered. The flowers are all embroidered. Is this not gorgeous or what? Leather trim, nickel hardware, there's embroidery on the back, tassel zipper pull, there's the little lucky tag, zip top closure, and the inside. Oh, I put my monkey in there. Lots of pockets, guys. Lots of pockets. It smells like leather. The embroidery on this is beautiful. Hopefully you can see that okay. And then the zipper. And the handles are leather. And it is by Lucky Brand. Okay. I also got... This is from the early 90s. It's a genuine leather. Trunk up, elephant wallet clutch, genuine leather. I'm looking for a purse like this. I, I want to get a purse like this. There's a zipper pocket in the back. It's in brand new, unused condition. Up here you have an ID window, credit card slots, lots of additional pockets. That's a zipper, and you've got all this room and another zipper, so it's a wallet clutch. And it's in beautiful, beautiful new, brand new condition. Okay. I picked up this Coach Swim wallet. This one is in brand new condition as well. It's jacquard fabric with a little bit of leather trim and it's the signature stripe. The inside is all leather with lots of credit card slots and ID window and then pouches. And it's marked coach on a little Patricia Nash Dr. Style bag in the browns and like minty green turquoise. 
Patricia Nash stand. Feet on the bottom. Cross body handle that is adjustable and can be taken off if you just want to use the top handle. Beautiful brass opening. Opens up super wide and you've got your slip pocket and two open pockets with the suede interior. Patricia Nash logo is on the zipper. It smells brand new. As a matter of fact, I believe it is brand new. Okay. Oops. Look at the clasp on it. Gorgeous. Crossbody. Kate's Babe logo. And then the inside has one, two, three, four credit card slots. Excellent brand new condition. And this pretty Tiffany blue and silver. is it for today so if you'd like to purchase one of these items just go below this video in the description box and make it yours you guys thank you so much for joining me today on this thrift adventure had a blast like always hope you guys are doing great i appreciate you all so much stay humble stay kind and i'll see you on tomorrow's video bye everybody